G'day, uh, Daniel here. Um, I'm going to talk a bit about a trip we did recently uh, as a scout group. Well, I was a patrol of the scout group with um, six of the scouts from town NEC scouts and um, two leaders, uh, myself and uh, Sean Harris. Um, it was a great trip. It was um, full of excellent memories and uh, we got some great learnings out of it. The trip was uh, over the weekend of uh, the end of March, start of April um, in 2018. And the plan was to go down and go through a loop around the tracks at, around the Taranaki. Um, not a ride around the mountain. Um, it was simply to go around the tracks through to the Holly Hut, uh, Puakai Hut, and then uh, back out again over two days. However, uh, once we got down there, we found out that um, Slips had closed the Holly track, um, or the Holly Hut track, and uh, we weren't going to be able to make it directly there. So we came up with a different plan. Um, the weather, as you can see from the photos, was uh, excellent, but a little bit cloudy up the tops. After having a bit of a think through, uh, we got together with the scouts and had a look at our options. Uh, essentially, there wasn't much we could do with the remainder of the day. Um, any of the other uh, paths through to a hut were going to take longer than we had time available for us. So we did a bit of a search around and found um, the Te Nutu o Te Manu um, uh, campsite, which is on Ahi Paipa Road in Kapa Nui, um, just a bit northwest out of uh, Hawera. So this campsite is, uh, it's a free campsite, uh, which is one of the reasons we chose it, trying to keep our uh, costs down. Um, but it's a nice little a, um, open space. Uh, there's a toilet block, water. Um, it's pretty pretty basic, uh, but there's lots of open space and it's well sheltered from the um, prevailing winds, etc. Um, it's, it's quite interesting because it's the site where um, the adventurer... Uh, Von Temsky uh, met his end um, in 1868 and um, uh, is part of the conflict between um, uh, the British Crown at the time and um, Tito Kohwaru. Um, that is actually that whole story, uh, part of the, the land wars, uh, is a very interesting portion of New Zealand history which is appallingly covered. Um, by uh, the school curriculum, and I encourage anybody to go and grab the New Zealand um, the New Zealand Wars uh, book by was it Dr. Michael King? Anyway, I'm not quite sure. Uh, that can be looked up. Actually, I can look it up. Right, it's uh, by James Belich. Um, superb. There's, there's so much interesting history that he's researched there from primary sources. Fantastic. So we stayed at the campsite there. Um, had a had um, oh our first lessons learned. There's going to be some lessons learned from this, right? So one of the first lens, lessons we learned uh, was uh, if you're cooking risotto, uh, taste it, and risotto shouldn't be crunchy. Yeah, that was a that was a big one. Um, if we scout leaders tend to eat what the uh, scouts produce us, and we do like it to be somewhat palatable. That's, that's always uh, wonderful. We can have a good meal to end a day. The next morning we got away again and um, found our spot to uh, lead off for the day. Um, we parked uh, a little way up the, uh, the mountain. Um, it was a brilliant, wonderful, warm day. We put sunscreen down at the bottom, got ourselves ready and started trooping away. And the kids had a ball of the time. Um, it really was quite uh, easy going uh, throughout the first part of the day. Um, you could see that the cloud was kind of sitting up the, the top of the mountain um, but uh, it was bright and shiny. We were pretty much on one layer um, through most of the day. Um, as the day progressed, though, uh, oh, <laughs> we did have another learning. Right, so um, you'd think that um, going off track, uh, how could anybody get displaced from a uh, fairly well-marked track in the bush in daylight? Uh, it, I found that it is possible if you kind of don't really look up and you kind of maybe just follow, you know, what seems to be a bit of a more beaten path than, than is not. Um, 
but the next thing you know, um, we're following uh, one of our scouts, uh, Duchess, um, down uh, what seemed to be a very steep path, and it didn't seem to be very well beaten. It's like, are you sure this is the right way? I can't see any further markers. Yes, yes, I'm sure. Well, when we got down to the bottom, we were like, this is, there's no way, there's no way this is the path. We get back up and uh, showed her where she had uh, made a mistake, and honestly, I, I can't, I don't get it still. It really is just amazing. But anyway, we had a good good chuckle over that. Anyway, as we um, went further um, higher and higher in elevation um, on the map uh, towards Poor Kai Hut, um, up the uh, Kaoi track, um, we started gaining a lot more elevation, um, eventually getting up to about um, 1,200 meters. And as we were coming up there uh, to that point, uh, it started raining. And uh, the kids started putting on um, their raincoats and beanies and that kind of stuff. Now, it, it, um, this is one of those lesson points. As, as we're gaining altitude and, and it's... No, the air temperature is noticeably becoming colder. What we should have done at perhaps the uh, the lunch break that we had was uh, get everybody to chuck on an extra layer at that point. There had been some uh, niggles with one of the um, scouts uh, with uh, basically her, her knee um, and uh, we were kind of focused on that. But um, when we were focused on that, we weren't necessarily... Um, being aware of uh, one of the other younger scouts who was actually getting quite cold. And um, she's not the type that uh, grizzles or moans or complains. She's a real trooper. And it wasn't until we were getting, um, we got to an altitude where the bush had, uh, the tree line had reduced to a point where, you know, we were coming in and out of shelter. The keen eyes amongst you uh, would have spotted in the uh, weather forecast that the the wind speeds were 20 to 30 kilometers per hour. Um, now, that was at the visitor center. I think where we were at, it was uh, more than that significantly. Um, and then we had a combination of wind chill plus plus wetness and um, lack of shelter. And um, we took a we took a stop uh, break and. Uh, where there was a lookout and um, enforced all the kids to get another layer on, um, uh, got out um, beanies um, and basically gave, gave this kid a, um, a bit of a hug, warm up, um, chucked lollies in her mouth and um, then we distributed the load off the kids who uh, who were having struggling with the packs and uh, we, we determined to uh, push on because we, we were actually very close to the the hut at this stage. It was not really a, um, uh, we were not at a critical stage, um, but it was clear that she was, um, you know, entering into that stage of she's not enjoying it. This is becoming more of a, more than a challenge. Um, this is going past into, uh, could be horrible type stage. All right. Um, uh, but, um, you know, once we got there and got to the hut, um, uh, it was great. Um, the, the hut was steaming hot partially uh, because they had a great coal-fired um, range going on in there um, and also partially because there was about 30 extra people um, at the hut than it's uh, scheduled to take which was about um, uh, 16 beds in the hut oh there was a lot more than 16 there anyway it was uh, it was a bit of a party atmosphere really there's so many people in there uh, so warm inside and so cold without uh, people that were just glad to be out of the weather and um, the kids got uh, stuck in playing, um, uh, stuck into a bit of um, into dry gears, and then once they got dry and warm, um, got stuck into cards, um, chatting with the university students. Uh, one of the young fellas there was um, he was able to do a few magic tricks, uh, and the kids thought that was pretty neat. Um, and um, they actually made a really good uh, dinner, which um, was a pasta bake type thing, but it was it was fabulous. Oh, I think it was some. Um, uh, I think it was mac and cheese. Yeah. So um, at that point, um, uh, Sean and I were able to sit down and have a bit of a, a, a rest and recuperate. Um, we ended up carrying a, a lot of extra weight than um, uh, than, than we would have liked, um, which is another lesson point. Uh, reduce weight 
um, on hikes so that you can carry other people's extras. Um, I probably didn't need to carry some of the other junk that I had with me um, in favor of um, other spare stuff that so you can support others. Um, so that night, um, the, the wind speed actually increased significantly. We um, decided to, well, the kids managed to squeeze in all over the place. Uh, they managed to get into some of their bunks with um, another family that was up there who kind of packed them in. Uh, some of the kids slept under the bunks, uh, resulted in a bit of a few headbangs when they kind of sat up in the middle of the night. Um, and um, Sean put up his tent in the tent space, uh, and I got my bivy bag out in my army um, uh, fly shelter in a and strapped it onto the, the side of the hut and the lee of the hut. That was um, probably, uh, I, I would have been better off taking my BB bag and just crawling into the heather. Um, it would have been uh, more comfortable as I had to put up with the whole night, the, the wind flap, flap, flapping. Uh, until I got um, one, sick of it, and two, uh, my uh, guy ropes got worn away through chafing and um, I had a, essentially a loose sail above my head. The wind speed was high. It was roaring. You could hear the wind coming before it got to you. And then um, uh, eventually I chucked it in. And, and as you see, I um, went into the woodshed, uh, which was cozy and still and non-flapping. Uh, Sean said he got so cold that he was um, he got in the middle of the night he got out of his got out his uh, uh, the thermal um, emergency blanket and wrapped it around his body and then he felt warm enough um, but uh, his tent was in a constant state of flap and he reckons only got two hours sleep. The next morning um, we had Bricky got our um, all our shit in one sock and then uh, zoomed on down the mountain. Um, you know, Sean gets his um, contact lenses on, and it was it was as soon as we got down off the uh, the mountain a little way, it was shiny, 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 and warm as. It's a really night and day type of difference when you're um, coming off that elevation, and um, and it was a really an easy walk. The kids were in good spirits, um, and uh, you know we even got to some McDonald's uh, in New Plymouth um, whilst we um, waited for the group to get together. We had a bit of a search around looking for uh, another potential location for that night since we weren't doing a second night on the mountain, um, something a bit easier. And uh, we came up with the Waitoto campsite, um, which is north of New Plymouth. Um, the closest little town is uh, Uranui, where there's actually some really good fish and chips. And uh, that's what we did. So we, we um, uh, found ourselves parked up there, set up our tents, uh, searched around, got some driftwood going, um, fetched some fish and chips for the kids and um, basically we had a good chow down and um, and, and watched, you know, and, and fed ourselves around the fire, even got in a swim um, and uh, it was quite a pleasant end. It was a pretty, pretty spot, very nice um, and I was quite uh, entranced by the, uh, the geology of the area and had a good look around. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's what we got up to. So that campsite, um, that was uh, Waitoto. That was really cool. That was um, apparently it was an old. Um, it's where they used to hold races along the beach um, up until the 1980s. But it's um, well eroded out there now, and they had the uh, the access road that went down. But that it's uh, it's all taken out. You, you, you basically got a wide strip of green space um, and uh, just really nice uh, beach. Although, you know, it's it's West Coast, so it's rough. Um, I went in there for a dip, uh, basically to scrub off the uh, the sweat from the previous day. Um, but it's, uh, you know, unless you're a good swimmer, I probably wouldn't um, get too stuck in there. The kids had a lot of fun, gave them lots of free time, and um, everybody enjoys a campfire. So lessons learned. Um, overall, uh, here's, here's the key points. you got to be open to adapt your plans to the circumstances, right? And uh, yes, when we changed our plan, we communicated it back up to our emergency contacts so they knew what we were up to. Um, as we have, you know, as the scouts have to, we do, do risk um, um, management forms and uh, we go through that process. Um, the uh, second lesson was there, taste the food before serving kids. Uh, you know, your scout leaders appreciate it and so does everybody else. Um, Mind you, if you're hungry enough, it just tends to disappear anyway. Um, for a scout leader, you've got to keep a lookout for those injuries and, um, and, and especially be vigilant for signs of exposure and take early action. And don't, 
Don't be afraid to stop and just redistribute weight, gear, get people warmed up, whatever it takes. Um, it just makes it a better uh, uh, experience for them. And um, third lesson in that part is, um, uh, or fourth lesson rather, is is to to pack for the um, for the for the trip. Uh, and really, you can't. You can't go too lightweight without, um, as, long, as long as you've got your, your key critical items, you're good to go. Um, uh, you know, and um, when, you're, when you're in a crappy situation, don't, don't hesitate to, to make things comfy for yourself. I mean, really, I, I wish I had not set up the fly tent on the, the leeward side of the, um, the, the hut. I wish I had just gone, because I looked at the, the wood shed and I just thought, you know what, oh, that wouldn't be too bad, but I couldn't be bothered moving the wood out of the way. Uh, however, at, um, at one o'clock in the morning, I just didn't care. I just kicked it out of the way, threw down my sleeping mat, chucked my sleeping bag in there, and I was happy as I was out like a light. Um, so, you know, uh, overall, life is what happens, and the best pits sometimes happen when you're making other plans. So, um, you know, that was a great trip, and I look forward to doing many others uh, with scouts and adventurers in the future. Cheers. <laughs>